Mr. Rice, I'm sorry. Do, do we have Vermillion on the agenda as an agenda item? Isn't the first it's a budget for it's agenda, agenda it's items only? Part of budget. It's a budget. It's, it's not part of the budget. It's actually not in the budget. How could it not be in the budget? We're paying them, are we not? It's not a budget. Do you it's intend to pay him in the 23-24 school year? Thank you, Joan. Then it's in the budget. Let's go. Okay. Hi, everybody. It's Robin Levy again from Bedminster. I don't know if any of you guys have a timeshare. I don't know if any of you guys have a timeshare. It's the only thing I can think of that you pay every month, but you have no idea how much it costs. You have no idea when you're going to get hit with extra costs. And there's no end, unless you die. And then you're done. So this is sort of that same thing, right? Would you go and buy a car without knowing how much it costs? No, of course not. So how can you possibly be hiring somebody with no financial parameters? Most of you, not all of you, but most of you ran on fiscal responsibility. And this is the least fiscally responsible thing I can think of. You guys are trying to figure out how to put air conditioning in elementary schools. That was something obviously that's very important to you. And yet, you're willing to give this guy a blank check, right? Well, in addition to that, I'm not real keen on Vermillion, along with all the other people that signed that petition. If I wanted my child to get a Christian education, I would send them to Plumstead Christian. If I wanted my child to get a Christian education, I would send them to Faith Christian. But I'm sending him to public school. And that pedagogy that this man is peddling has no place in public school. I read the 1776 curriculum, and I swear to you, if you replace the word German, every time that man wrote American child, it would look like it came from something written in 1933. It scared the crap out of me. Thank you.